Yeah, okay, I'm just going to go live again. You catch my previous live streams, I've sort of managed to get myself in a position where I'm on the floor here. They're telling me I'm obstructing a highway, and I said I'll move when there's vehicles, so we kind of have come to a... I wouldn't say it's an agreement by any stretch. They manhandled most of us away from this area, but I managed to sit down quite quickly. Uh, so I don't want to give up my spot now. I'm mixed a lot of lime and tangerine people. But mainly I want to say, there you go, the... Um, Drill's still not working. Okay, yeah, no worries. It's Neil! Neil! Oh, it's Neil! Neil! Didn't say it was Neil. It's slightly different when it's Neil. We don't know who's coming, do we? We do. Yeah, but you shouldn't bring Neil because he causes lack of safety on site. He strangled a man by the windpipe. It's just a car for Do you know what he did? He, his essay or whatever training he's got, he put his thumb and his photograph of it online to cut the guy's windpipe completely. And then he held his head as if to break it, to break his neck, and held him in that position. But to have him back when he's currently undergoing a prosecution by us is just provocative. Do you know what I mean? Like, your role is public safety. So if that antagonises provokes and makes us uncomfortable that it is less about public safety then isn't it you know I just think that we're all peaceful sorry I'm really fed up with standing but we're all peaceful and we've never ever 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 done violence so you know we sit in inconvenient places and we slow things down well you know that's hardly crime of the bloody century is it but he actually physically was almost at the point where he killed a man and I mean that's just absurd you know that, yeah yeah but can't you see I get mutual aid to help our Langs cops have some more man power but what I don't get is the fact that they're not briefed adequately on the actual situation that's going on for nearly eight months now that we've been here the characters involved what it is that provokes what it is that helps keep things calm because your role is everyone's safety, not just facilitating their vehicles and their profit. We're here to delay them. We've got articles 10 and 11 of the Human Rights Act on our side so long as we remain not violent, but there's no facilitation of our right, but there is of theirs. Well, I would suggest... Do you think standing on a roadside holding a banner is articles 10 and 11 of our Human Rights Act? We're not in another country. And if we do not retain our democracy and control over our police facilitating both sides, then we become like that other country. I'm not being allowed to protest. It is my right to protest. You do not allow or permit. I have the right to be here. If you get in my way of my protest, then you are acting unlawfully. So, it's getting very crowded with tall people. Can I just let you know that yep. the last of the lock on, this is doing free now, so okay. we're going to reopen the carriageway. Okay. Obviously, you are sat in quite a carriage I always position. sit here. I know you do, but I'm just making you aware for your own personal safety. Yes, but my person said don't keep my arms tucked inside. I, I, I said to somebody on Friday, the last thing I want is somebody to get injured. I agree. Injured. I agree. And I thank you for your kindness, yeah. and I'm 55 years old. I made it. Yeah. I made 55 years without dying. Yeah. And I intend on staying it, alive a lot but longer. But it may not be your, your fault that something happens. No, it may absolutely. Be somebody who's I'll nudge a little to further start. forward into my verge to verge area. You want to consider your position. Okay. I've been wanting to consider my fucking position for seven years. But there's no outdoor that hasn't got my granddaughter's face on it. And I'll be dead by the time half the toxins come up. And then what? You know, who protects her? Yeah, so I'm stuck. If it was a choice, I wouldn't be here. Absolutely wouldn't be here. But it's an obligation. There's Neil back at work. A man who's got a court case pending for nearly killing one of the protectors. And certainly for making a damn good attempt. It's interesting to see see that red hat in the distance. That's A. E. Yates. That's the head of um, the contractor who built this site. Now we understand there are problems with the site work, so I wonder if he's back. He was supposed to be off-site and not back again, but as he's back again, and that means A.E. Yates is working again on site, that means there's some remedial work or some issue with the original groundworks because they were only here for the beginning part. Unless, of course, it's just maybe A.E. Yates has been contracted again for the... Uh, fencing work so I suppose that could be why he's here I don't know 
but that is another likely explanation now I think about it because these are uh, new gates going in anybody driving on the Preston New Road the A583 the plans for this site look pretty similar to another site up the road called Waring's and so when we were looking at the logistics of how we would protest, we went and looked at the Waring's entrance, which is um, on this road. But if you head up towards the Kirkham end, it's on the right-hand side after the Kirkham turning. And uh, we checked the rights of that and thought, well, you know what, this area where I am now between the cycle lane and the actual site entrance, and that goes verge to verge. So if you're a pedestrian, you're crossing over verge to verge. You can't see because the lock-ons. Um, Oh, yeah, so just to also to update that. So, yeah, so this, this bit here should be a right of passage. So, yes, it is still a roadway for the site, but it's still our right of passage as well. Behind there is uh, where the lock-ons have been today. They started at five this morning. There were two two-person lock-ons and one one-person, so five people in all. Um, I understand the last one's just been cut out. Today being Monday is the second of the Green Mondays. So that's when Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, Divestment Groups, Green Party and all things eco and environmental could do with seeing some renewable energy companies here, more of the divestment groups. If you're free and you're a part of any of these groups, and Monday's when we need you. There's Jamie Peters from Friends of the Earth, he'll be speaking later. Jamie? What time are you doing the speaking, love? I'm live, sorry. What time are you speaking? <laughs> Around noon. What time is it now? It's Yeah, so... Yeah, lovely. And then uh, I was going to say, you know, Ruth Norbury and uh, the other Green Councillors we've got here, or Green... It'd be good to get them to speak as well, and then to do what we do on Wednesdays, which is anybody want to explain why they're here? That's great. Because we cut it off last week because of the... Um, there was a kerfuffle on the side of the road, so we only ever got the Napoli speech, which would be nice to get everybody else. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's happening again. Uh, we've got our PA system, but he, as he's playing music, someone will have to liaise with him about... Gina's already spoke, and he said to Does he not want to just do the PA system from his, then? Ours is just there behind the Green Party side. So we've got a microphone and a PA, but it's just as easy to carry on with what is usually. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Good, and check on the now. Yeah, lovely, yeah. really lovely. Yeah, lovely. yeah, nice to see. The Green Party, really, a lot of people. And Friends of the Earth and yeah. Greenpeace. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, you know, divestment um, groups have got in touch as well. Excellent. And transition towns. Uh, incredible edible type people, really? people who do green gardening. So we're trying to encourage you over the coming weeks that they come as well. So yeah, guerrilla well, gardeners. Just had France, the group in France have just been reporting on what's going on here. Oh really? Yeah. And Radio France have also rung us up. They're interested in what's going on. What was here. the radio interview you did the other day? That was with Real World Radio. Where's that? In Uruguay. Oh right. In Uruguay. Wow. Wow. So the interest is worldwide on what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I know. Here. I think they see this as a benchmark. Like you know what happens here. Yeah. Um, really tells the story. I think they're worried, you know, they're, they're, like I said, they're keeping an eye, so yeah. Do you know what one of the cops just said to me? He said, but you are getting your right to protest on the other side of the road. And he said, in any other country, you'd be shot. I'm like, that's the whole reason we have to seize back and make sure that we retain our right, not just to stand with a banner, but to actually properly exercise Articles 10 and 11 yeah. with peaceful protest. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's all about peaceful protest. Non-violent direct action. Absolutely. It's not standing around with a bloody banner. So again, for the investors, please note the drill you think is operating 24-7 is not operating at all. There is no movement again from the drill. You can be able to tell, I know it's hard because I've got Zoom at the moment, I don't know why, um, but the centre part of that drill would be moving up and down and it, and it absolutely isn't, which means they're not drilling. And once the drill starts, it should be 24-7 until they get to the point where they need to put the casings in, in which case then the casings can be put in and it's a bit safer. Uh, but while it's not got the casings, that means that the ground that they've drilled would just continue to cave in on itself. They've had to put an inordinate amount of lime down as well because of the sogginess of the soil. Yes, the security guards are indeed smug. And you know what it is? It's provocative. You know, if they're a professional, 
when you get up as a fully grown adult male and you put your work uniform on and you go to work and your job is security of a site, then it isn't about provoking those who might otherwise threaten that security. So why provoke us? Why wind us up? Why work at creating even more temporary issues on the street? You know, it just seems crazy. Ah, oh, thanks, Warrior. You're welcome. <laughs> So, um, for our safety, they keep telling us we need to maybe not be here, but I feel perfectly safe. I'm the other side of a cycle lane, pretty much. If I was a pedestrian crossing, I would do this. I like that everybody's clustered here. You know, when I came across here, there was only one woman trying to get to um, get close to the gate to get a sight of the drill. And uh, as soon as they tried to manhandle her off, I went in. And then as soon as I went in, then everybody else followed. So they, they were probably better just to let us get our shots and not provoke. The constant smirking and giggling by the security guards is unnerving. You know, like there are times too, depending on which police force you've got, and certainly with Matrix, the Liverpool force, in the mornings when they drive past the night cab, they all bang on the windows to just laugh at them. You know, just why? Yeah, these are grown men going to work. Why is that what they consider to be part of their role in society is to provoke the protest rather than just facilitate the safety of all the users of this road? Well, I'm going to go offline and keep the battery because we've got um, uh, everyone's stories later and that'll be interesting. You 